So now that our hide is tanned, the first thing I want to do is get a pattern belt to make the hat out of. So I used some extra fabric that I had and I pieced together a hat. And this is just pinned together with pins so that that way now that I've got it together I can take it all apart and lay it out on my hide to figure out all my pieces. Okay, laid out here on my table I've got the items I'm going to use to make the hat. First of all I've got the hide, I've got the pattern pieces all pinned together here uh, the way I want the hat to turn out. I'm going to be using using some leather needles. I also got some waxed polyester thread and then of course I'm just using regular pens mainly for the use of uh, holding my hat together so I could test the pattern before I made the before I actually cut the pieces of the hide. So now I've taken apart my pattern and so I can show you all the different pieces. This is going to be the top of the hat, this will be the front of the hat, this will go around the back of your head and then this will also go around the back of your head and be able to either fold up or be able to go over your ears. Okay guys, one of the things that I found out, figured out pretty quick was my two longest pieces we're not going to fit anywhere on my hides, so what I ended up doing is cutting them in half. As you can see there, the, and this was the back piece that went around the back of the hat. It used to be twice as long as that, and this was the same thing. This was the earmuff piece, and it went all the way around the back of the hat, and it used to be twice as long. So what I've done is I've cut these in half, and what I'll have to do is make two pieces instead of one piece and sew them together. But that was the only way that I could get the patterns to fit on the hides and even as it is right now because I want a hair um, hair on the inside and hair on the outside on my hat I need to have um, I'm gonna have to use a piece of the third hide to uh, get all the pieces but from what you can see here is I've taken all my pieces and I've drawn I don't know if you can see that very well but I have drawn on the hides the pieces out and labeled them so that that way I can start to cut and it also help me kind of lay out and make the most of my hide. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut these pieces out and I'll bring it back on once that's done. So as I'm cutting these out, one thing I want to do is I'm using an X-Acto knife and that's something I didn't show you earlier what I was going to use but I'm using a sharp X-Acto knife and what I want to do is just be careful as I'm cutting to only get through the hide so I'm not cutting the hair too badly on the other side. So one thing I want to mention here real quick before we go too much further in is one mistake I started to make and I uh, realized it and rectified it and I ended up having to redraw my patterns is you want to take in consideration the direction of the hair. So as this is going to be the front of the hat, I want the hair, go I want the hair going down. So at uh, first I was going to cut it and the hair would have been going sideways and that would that would have looked funky so we want to make you want to make sure that you take grain uh, hair direction into consideration when you're laying your pattern out on your hide okay so now I've got all the pieces cut out this is one going to be one side of the hat so I'm going to start off with putting it together first sewing all these pieces together and when I'm done it should basically be a hat that you can put on Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm sewing the two back pieces together to make one piece again. And all I'm doing is a regular whip stitch through here. So I just push it through both pieces of fabric about a quarter inch in. And I found that uh, it helps if I use my Leatherman to kind of grab a hold of that and pull it through. I bring that back up and back through the loop that that makes and then suck, pull it down tight and I'll do that all the way across all the way across here okay so now that's sewed together you can see the two pieces now all sewed so now we'll move on to the next section which is what I want to do is I want to take the top and sew this around the top like, like so. So that will be the next thing but the first thing I want to do is kind of get everything situated so that the, the two ends come out even around the, brim, around the top of the hat. So I'll do that's where 
that's where having some pins comes in handy because you can kind of pin it so that you can get it to hold it, hold its position. We've got that part done. We've got it sewed all the way around. So now what I want to do is attach this front this front panel to the hat. So I'm going to start by start just like I did with the other one. I'm going to start in the middle, sew till I come to the edge, then sew till I come to this edge, and we'll then we'll sew the sides the side pieces down all the way and at that point um, it should be actually at a point where you could put it on alright guys so now we have it sewed all the way around we got the front panel on and everything and this is going to be the inside of the hat so this would be considered the when this hat's going to be done this piece is going to be what's going to be on the inside so I'm going to get started adding the ear pieces on now so I gotta sew those on they will go on all the way and around the the back like so like that so that that way they can so that way you have a uh, cover for your ears on a cold day Okay guys, so this is how it looks at this point. Like I said again, this is going to be the inside of the hat. What I got to do now is do all this all over again and I'll bring it when I'm done with that, I'll bring it back on and show you how I'm going to put it together. Okay, so here's the here's the outside of the hat. This is what it looks like. So what I want to do now is I'm going to sew the two pieces together. So I need to put the two hair sides together and what I want to do is I want to leave about that much in the back unsewn so that way I can pull it back out so that the hair side's out and not the skin side. Okay, so here's where we are now. So I've uh, sewed all the way around the hat except for this last back section here that will come apart and my goal is is hopefully that hole is going to be big enough that I'm going to be able to pull this thing inside out. Alright, now that we got the hat inside right, what we're going to do is we got this gap back here that we pulled it through, so what I want to do is make sure everything's tucked down in there nice and neat, and we're just going to sew that together. So there we have it guys, all done, one very uh, cozy um, winter hat. I'm a little bit concerned that though it made it came a little bit small, it's fitting me pretty tightly now all of a sudden. Uh, during the process of the build I thought it was almost going to end up too big, now now it actually fits uh, pretty snugly so I'm hoping it fits, him, fits Aaron okay. Anyways, I hope that uh, you enjoyed watching that, and this was a cool project. It was uh, actually turned out to be a, a lot more complicated than I thought it would be, but uh, and I hope uh, Aaron likes the hat, so I'll get this shipped back to him, and we'll see how he likes it. Mm -hmm.